All communication systems have one thing in common. They must have a channel or medium that connects the receiver with the transmitter. We use the term transmission media to describe the means by which both voice and data communications travel between sender and receiver. Modern telecommunications rely on the ability of computers, regardless of location and system type, to communicate with one another and to share data. There are two main types of transmission signals, analog and digital. Telecommunications and telephony may communicate using either of these types of signal. The analog system transmits signals as a continuous electrical current. The strength of the signal, or amplitude, varies in direct relation to the volume of the speaking voice or other sound. The speed at which these waves travel is measured as a frequency in cycles per second, or hertz. The higher the frequency, the more wave cycles are completed from start point to end point. Telecoms engineers usually develop networks and systems to transmit voice calls using a bandwidth, limited to 3000 hertz or 3 kilohertz. From the point of view of systems design, this is very efficient because frequencies outside this range can easily be blocked or filtered, so the voice signals will be less prone to interference or noise. Electrical digital transmissions, like analog transmissions, are subject to interference and loss of signal over distance. However, it is easier to regenerate a digital signal than an analog signal as each bit can only be in one of two states, either on or off represented by 1 and 0, so the wave is shown in blocks. You can see it is different from the smooth wave of the analog signal you saw previously. The original telephone infrastructure was designed for the transmission of sound using analog signals. Nowadays, we use both analog and digital signals to communicate voice and data over the telephone network. In order to transmit digital data over existing analog telephone lines, the digital signals must be converted into analog signals. The sampling rates used in converting analog voice signals to digital data are critical to the quality of digital telephony. Given suitably high sampling rates, digital signals have a number of advantages over analog signals, including higher speeds, effective recovery of transmission errors, and clearer voice quality. However, while digital signals produce cleaner results than analog equivalents, analog systems are capable of greater range of nuance, especially in sound transmissions. 